What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, I want to discuss Joker in the new Batman Arkham game. So let me start off with this because I always like to kind of set the scene. I always like to kind of preview stuff. I like to be honest with you guys and give you kind of like an insight of what I'm thinking. So a few things just to go over in the first place. Today is about the Joker. Last Friday, we talked about uh, Arkham Origins Anniversary. Wednesday, we're going to be talking about the multiplayer slash co-op kind of things in this new Arkham game. And then Friday, Friday, one way or another, we'll talk about, again, if the game gets announced or if the game does not get announced. So that way you guys know a little bit of a preview. Now, next up is for the people that say stop making videos, clickbait, stuff like that. Just, just listen to me, hear me out. For uh, this video, I want to, again, talk about the Joker. I've already made a video. Now, I made a video talking about the Joker needs to be in the game. And I made this months ago before I made any of the other ones. And in terms of, like, performance, in terms of how many people saw it, it was a fraction. It, it was, like, 20 or, like, 10, 15, 20%, depending on which video you're looking at, of the people uh, that watch these videos watch that one. So, but, but I wanted to come at this with a different angle. So, the title obviously says, you know, Joker, like, will be in the game. But I want to discuss... So and that's based off the leaks, okay? The leaks of this game would indicate Joker was 100% in the game. He is, not, and let me just recap it. He's not the main villain. He is a side villain. He is in the game. He has like his own little control of the city. Uh, and eventually, he's actually going to help Batman. He'll be like a frenemy. He's going to help Batman against the Court of Owls because he doesn't like them being in charge. You no, know, Batman's his main target. He wants, you know, like, basically, he wants to be the primary focus, which is kind of funny because that's what everybody doesn't want him to be because of all these games. So that's, you know, that let's that's just the setup there. What I want to come at this video uh talking about is I a really interesting conversation because you guys are so split on wanting the Joker and not wanting the Joker. I mean, and again, I've talked about this before in the comments of literally every single video I make, there's always people that say I want the Joker, I don't want the Joker. And both will get a lot of likes, both will get comments saying the opposite, saying like, F you, why do you want this, or why don't you want... Like, so, it's a divide. So, I don't want people getting all upset, I don't want people getting mad, let's not... You know, firstly, don't bombard this with dislikes, but if you if you feel so inclined, go ahead. Um, But let's not get mad at each other in the comments, okay? I do truly want to have a discussion here... So Joe, let's just go with Joker's in this game. Joe, you're going to buy this game, and Joker is going to be in the game. Uh, who's okay with that, and who's not? Okay? It's like a poll. Who's okay with that, and who's not okay with that? From my own experience, or from my own opinion, let me just tell you, I am fine with it. I truly am, and I, I've defended the Riddler. I've defended the. T I can. Be, you could probably have me defend anything in this game that's widely hated. But some people may like it. I could, I, I would, I could probably do my best to try to defend it because, you know, again, even Arkham Knight, a lot of people did not like that video game, Arkham Knight in general. I really did. I, I really loved it. There were a ton of problems. I understand that. I'm not all. I'm not, you know, going outside with a I want the Bat Tank a poster. I'm not. I'm not wearing the T-shirt out and about. But I can, you know, I, I am more inclined to defend those kind of things. So when it comes to the Joker, and I said this to some people on the comments, like, yeah, I. I want him in this game. I don't really see, and I get it. He's been used a lot. He's the he's the main uh, antagonist in every single game. Now, some people argued with me that he's not the main antagonist of Arkham Knight. By the end of the game, he's 100% the main villain. Okay, he just is. Scarecrow, by the middle of the game, Scarecrow has been almost pushed 1,000% aside. He's not even in it. You know, he's in the beginning and he's in the end. He is, I mean, I get it. He's in the middle. Like, he does a couple things. But, I mean, he really gets kicked out of the picture way fast. And I'm not saying that's a good thing. I don't, I didn't want that. I actually love Scarecrow. Scarecrow. I love their version of Scarecrow. I wanted him in it more. I wanted him to be the main villain. I agree with people that say that Joker kind of took the spotlight away from him, which I loved Mark Hamill's performance. I love the idea of what Joker was trying to do in Arkham Knight. Like, I like that, but I would have preferred a Scarecrow. The Arkham Knight himself, uh, yeah, the same story that we all thought it was going to be. You know, they lied to us and said that it was going to be something different. And, you know, so while that was like, un that was uh, actually, uh, that was completely unoriginal and kind of boring and kind of annoying, 
you know, even that, again, kind of took a back seat to the Joker because Joker was just everywhere. Joker was in every single scene with you because he was always inside your head. So, like, I'm not disagreeing that he wasn't, that he's being used too much. I'm not disagreeing with that. He is used too much. I want him in this game, and I don't want him in it much. And I agree with the leaks. I think they're on, if those leaks are true, and when the game comes out that actually happens, they're on to something. They kind of understand. I think the majority, because I think even the people that say, oh, if the Joker's in this game, like, I'm going to hate it, or or it's just going to ruin the game. I think even them, if they see hopefully a well-executed vision of what Warner Bros. Montreal wants to do, they'll be fine with it because they'll be like, all right, he's in the game. He's not the primary threat. He's not in that many scenes. Maybe he's only in it for like an hour. And, and you know, that's a, that's a long time. But I guess that's like for more like a television or movie thing. In a game, if it's a 20-hour game, he's in it for an hour. It really isn't all that much. So, you know, he could be very, very little in it. He can maybe have his own. We've talked about this. Maybe the, the mission wheel, the, the how it's like the side missions and it's all those side villains. Maybe Joker can be one of them, but you could also use him in the main story. Because if he is going to help you against the Court of Owls, you assume he's going to make his way into the main storyline. But who knows? They could do that and have the side missions. And as long as he's not in the main mission all that much, he does not have to be the primary focus. And that's what I want. So it is, a, it is you know, a caveat even for me. You look at the title. You look at what I'm saying. I want him in the game, but I'm I'm willing to compromise. Like, I, I, want, I, I guess I'm not willing to compromise that I don't want him in the game at all. I want him in the game, but I understand what people are saying. And he can be used too much. And he can take the spotlight. And it's not necessarily a terrible thing, but he can take the spotlight from everybody else. At the same time, I also see people saying like, hey, there's loads of villains that have never been in, in a uh, Batman game or an Arkham game. Why, you know, Joker would take up a spot. And I do agree with that. Like, no matter what, if Joker's a side villain, that's a side villain that gets taken away from somebody else. So if there's 10 side villains and Joker is one of them and you have the other nine, one of yours that you are one of mine, you know, if, if we want one of those kind of uh, unheard of villains maybe to make their way, they may not make the cut because of Joker. Maybe they could be in DLC or something like that, but maybe they wouldn't. Make. So there are disadvantages. There are negatives, and I do totally understand that. But what I was telling some people is, like, I just can't imagine playing a game. And it's, it's the game's fault because all four games have had a minute, so they've kind of made it more like uh, kind of like casual or like we're used to it, right? Kind of like programming us in a way, really is, because I can't see myself playing this game, Arkham, whatever it's called, popping the disc in, playing it uh, digitally, whatever, and the Joker just not be in the entire game. Even going into Arkham Knight, I was one of those people that thought, and I, I, I ran with the theory. I never, I didn't have the YouTube channel back then, so I didn't do anything with it, but I was one of the people that thought Joker was still alive. And I guess because of the Easter egg where he is alive before he gets cremated, I guess I was right, but that whole thing, I actually made a video on that as well. The whole thing doesn't even make sense. But I was running with the idea that Joker was alive, so going into Arkham Knight, I thought the Joker was going to be in it. I thought he was going to be alive in it. Now, I know a lot of people went into Arkham Knight saying, like, finally, a full game, it's Scarecrow's story, it's the Arkham Knight story, no Joker, no Joker at all to take away anything. And I feel like because people went in it with that mindset, maybe they were betrayed and maybe that's what really, really hit them and hurt them and said, you know what, I I'm just done with it now. Because even if they say there's no Joker, will there actually, and that's an interesting point, even if Warner Bros. Montreal tells you tomorrow that, they're, that they announce their game and they say Joker is not in a single second of it, Will you believe it? Will you believe it? Because didn't uh, Rocksteady say that too? They said Joker, or and even Mark Hamill said Arkham City, that was it. He was done. He was not coming back. So all these signs pointed to it, even though, again, I ran with the theory. Like, I knew I knew he was going to be back. I thought he would be alive. I was kind of disappointed he wasn't alive, but he was 1,000% back. And again, he was like the main villain. Uh, so I, I was in a way, like I, but that's the point. I expected him to be in the game. So I wasn't like expecting a full story with no Joker in and then all of a sudden, bam, he comes in, he ruins it. He takes it away from Scarecrow, He take, which he did. He took it away from Scarecrow. He took it away from the Arkham Knight. Um, but, and, and that's, just, that's just what happened. I kind of expected that, though, because I thought he was going to be in the game. So I'm wondering, and that's an honest question to you guys, is that the reason? Some people may have even been because of Arkham Origins. Arkham Origins, Black Mask. Black Mask is the main villain. No Joker. Or, I mean, I don't even remember what they were saying about that, but, like, Black Mask is the main focus. Oh, Black Mask is Joker. Oh, okay, Joker is the main villain. So, like, even they did it. They lied. Again, every I tell you guys all the time, game developers lie. They don't lie in a malicious way. They lie to hide their secrets so that you get surprised 
surprised at their game. I think people were surprised in a way, some people, that Joker was Black Mask. Not everybody. I think a lot of people probably saw it. I think a lot of people were surprised Joker came back in Arkham Knight. Not everybody. A lot of people probably uh, predicted or thought that would happen. Again, I thought he would be alive. He ended up coming back as a dead person. So, I mean, th things just happen in games, right? Th weird, weird things can happen. So, like... I don't know. Even if they do announce that there is no Joker, I personally won't even believe them. I don't know how many of you guys will believe them, and, and then I'll make videos. And, and watch, watch. I'll make videos about it, and people say, but Alex, they said game developers lie all the time. So I don't even know if you can trust them. Now, if they say Joker is in the game, I will. Like, it's weird because I'll trust that. But like, it also depends on what they show. You got to take in context of what they're showing. I'm sure we'll see gameplay. I'm sure we'll see things in this game trailer, main idea of what this game's going to be about. So there'll be loads of hints. But firstly, I really do believe he's in this game. I think if they kept the leak, and I do think a lot of the stuff we've heard about this game in the past year, year and a half, I think a lot of it's going to make its way in this game, by the way. So I do think Joker is going to be in it based off the leaks. And beyond that, I want him in the game. I think he. I think it would be a weird and unpleasant experience if we played through the entire... And that's just my opinion. That is just my opinion. And guess what? I can be wrong. And a lot of you guys have told me I've been wrong in the past. That's totally cool. I may play the game start to finish and be like, you know what? That was a masterpiece. That was like the best Arkham game I ever played. And there was no Joker in it. Bravo to them. That could totally happen. It's also possible that I could play the game and say, you know what? That was a phenomenal game. I really enjoyed it. I think they could have added Joker though. So there's a lot of ways that we can take this game. I could be disappointed. Maybe I could have maybe the game's not good. And we all say afterwards, man, maybe the Joker could have helped the game. Maybe it could have made it maybe he could have made it more interesting. Stuff like that. There's a lot of ways to look at it. No way is wrong. Okay, so in the comments, again, that's why I'm saying. There's no need to get mad at each other. People don't want him. Totally cool. People want him. Totally cool. I think there's also a middle ground. Sometimes there isn't. Because, again, like, I mean, is there a middle ground? Because you're basically saying, I want him or I don't want him. Me, I'm saying, I want him, but just not a lot. So I'm kind of like a quarter of the way. I'm not necessarily in the middle. I'm like a, I'm like closer to wanting him in it fully. So it's tough. It's definitely tough, but it's a very interesting thing. I definitely, you know, I wanted to do a different video today, but I just, just have seen throughout the past couple of videos, so many people. And I, I forgot that like, that was definitely a video I wanted to make in the future. Um, so I just wanted to throw this together for you guys. So let me know in the comments below. Do you want Joker? Do you not want Joker? How would you use him? And how would you envision, like, again, like after the game comes, out like do you think he'll affect the game in a positive or negative way let me know make sure you guys subscribe to our youtube channel podcast now hit that bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up again wednesday we'll be talking more about this game uh friday we'll talk about the announcement if it does or doesn't happen and we'll go from there. It's really hard to predict and talk about after that because if the game does get announced, we'll have loads of videos talking about it. If it doesn't get announced, we'll kind of be on this two or three videos a week thing and the the kind of content on it will we'll kind of uh, mix back and forth between like informational and discussion. Okay, so that's kind of what you can expect to look out for over the next little while Wednesday and Friday. Make sure you're just, you know, constantly checking back with the channel, have that bell icon rung and all that stuff. Okay, so thank you guys so much. You guys are the absolute best. Make sure you guys are liking uh, the video, commenting, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys on Wednesday's video.